Hi, I'm Haley Bieber, and I am here to answer Bazaar's burning beauty questions. I feel like I feel my most beautiful in a lot of different, you know, scenarios. A lot of the time for me, I find that when I have a moment where I feel really confident and I feel really beautiful is usually in like the mundane moments of just t-shirt, messy hair, no makeup. I'm not necessarily somebody who enjoys spending the time to do my hair and makeup. I feel like I spend so many hours of my life in hair and makeup that like I just don't really wanna be bothered with it. More times than not, I probably would rather spend the time on my hair but I do really like chill makeup, like very natural, just glowy, dewy. I've learned with my face and my facial features that a lot of the time less is more. I would say sometimes like I do wish I was a bit more adventurous with makeup, but I think I just get, I mean, what's cool about this cover is that it is a beauty story and the makeup was really, really different in each shot and it felt very different for me and very out of my comfort zone, which I think was really cool. With skincare, I think my approach has changed there where I am really focused on like my skin barrier. And I always wanna look like, I always joke about this and I say I wanna look like a glazed donut before I go to bed. If I don't look like a glazed donut, I don't want it. <laughs> I've learned a lot of beauty things from my mom. I think one of the biggest things is that when I was young, she never ever let me get out of like the bath or the shower without like drenching my whole body in lotion. Like she just wouldn't let it slide. I mean, I always remember rummaging through my mom's beauty stuff. I do remember this one time, this is so sad, oh my gosh. When I was a kid, she had like a really, really, really strong um, retinol, retinoid cream. And I didn't know that that's what it was. And I had taken it and like, like lathered it on my face. And I'm like a kid with kid, baby, soft, fresh skin. And I burned and peeled so badly all over my face for like days because I was using like super, super, super strong retinol. I learned my lesson with that for sure. It was miserable. One beauty rule that I swear by is First of all, I love Carrie Mulligan. She's a queen. One beauty rule that I swear by is never sleeping with makeup on. Like ever, 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 ever under any circumstance, get it off. I look back for a lot of beauty inspiration and like beauty vibe inspiration from like the supermodels of the 90s, old school Kate Moss, her just like no makeup on a beach somewhere with your like her with her pink hair. Rihanna is a beauty icon to me as well. I, I feel like she's legitimately one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my life in person and not in person. So that's where I get a lot of my beauty inspiration from. Self care for me can be a lot of different things. I think it can be taking a nice long bath, it can be spending time outside, it can be praying, it can be reading a book, staying off your phone, putting your phone in the dresser for the weekend. I think it's whatever you feel like is feeding your soul. I think my philosophy on beauty is, you know, we all have our own beauty in one way or another. I think most of the time that comes from within as you grow and evolve as a person and when you're kind to people and um, you love people, it, it does show on the outside as well. I think when people are like, you're glowing. I think that's, a, that's like, that's coming from the inside when people say that.